don't mind actually, but I'm, I've actually fallen a little bit behind with some of my TV viewing. And if I haven't seen Songs of Praise with the Methodist Boys Choir from Puckin' Up Paddle Dick East, then uh, it'll be, I'll be persona non grata with the bridge ladies. Anyway, um, sorry. Uh, just let me get the rug already. Uh, so um, here goes. This isn't Songs of Praise. It's not even called the midwife. Oh, I must have hit the wrong channel or something. Uh, all right, then what's on this seven mate anyway? There's the tuna. This is the fly. Let's get one. G'day and welcome to Blokes World, a show made by two blokes with two cameras and one idea. It's certainly an interesting thing to boast about, having more cameras than concepts. Uh, especially when you only have two cameras. I mean, I've got three. Uh, but you know, I shouldn't judge an entire channel based on one or two shows, I guess. Uh, what else have they got? On Outback Truckers. No. Bad television channel. Listen loud to the wind, babe. Listen loud to the rain. Feel that water licking up a feet. Look, as much as I could watch more, I could also just buy the DVDs of seasons one to six of Outback Truckers and watch them later. I mean, I know Seven Mate would say reality TV illuminates the human condition, but uh, I'm just a little skeptical that Yogi will be able to bring that to the table. Um, okay, uh, anything else? Ah! It's taken almost 30 years. Ah! Ah! I think we finally met the Volkswagen King. Mike and Frank were uh, lucky to find me today. There's a whole lot of mouse here for 250 bucks. On this episode of Cajun Pawn Stars, Jimmy tries to make a buck on a mechanical bull. Shop regular Joker tries to avoid getting soaked on a deal. An original Cajun hot tub. Aye. <laughs> okay, Jesus, Seven Mate, what is going on? And what about something a little educational? Swamp people? <laughs> no, that's at best garbage and at worst potentially exploitative. Anyway, uh, there's got to be something else on this that has a script, I suppose. Um, let me just skip ahead like an hour. Veteran hunter Bruce Mitchell, his sharpshooter Ron, and their sidekick Tyler are also forging new roads through the swamp. It'll be a hell of a day. It's a little known fact, but tragically, only 50% of graduates from Clown College find steady employment as a clown. <laughs> but more swamp people? How many episodes of this are you showing a day? Okay, uh, let's go forward like uh, one more hour. Troy Landry's hunting down a gator that's threatening his family. Are you serious? Three episodes of swamp people a day? And if that gator's threatening Troy's family, then I can only hope they mean the gator's threatening to take Troy's family away from Troy to a more stable home. <laughs> but seriously, Seven Mate, what is wrong with you? This is the sort of thing that actually makes me angry. And I was meant to be getting calm. Because TV networks always complain that making anything locally costs too much money, takes too long, and isn't watched by anyone. But then they're happy to spend money on swamp people and six seasons of Outback Truckers. It makes me angry because it hurts the industry here, because it cheapens Australian culture. And most of all, I was looking forward to songs of praise, and now the bridge ladies are going to throw me out. <laughs>